Something is going to happen. Something wonderful. G'day fans and welcome to another exciting episode of the show. Now with a bit of luck, you've ignored the curfew thing altogether, the extra hour that you get on top of what we've had for the past month and you said, you know, stuff going out, you're going to stay here with us. So uh, hopefully that's uh, the case. Three people have done that already. So they've said, no, we're not going out. We're staying right home. And good old Carol, who gets complete freedom at midnight tonight because she lives in Ballarat, as does Jeff, as does Jeffro. And they get to go out and do stuff. Whereas NPS and myself, <laughs> we're stuck at home. So uh, there you go. How unbelievably depressing is that? And you know, Michelle's joining us already, which is very, very cool. And I've got nine people already. We've barely, Woo. I haven't even stopped talking yet. How good is that? They're just rolling in like oranges. Holy guacamole, so much of the old curfew thing, eh? So there you go. Anyway, um, uh, it's a very, very big night tonight, as it always is in Nerdsville. And I've got to pass over or say, Lisa, hello to my cohorts, Jeffro and MPS. How are you, lads? Excellent. Most excellent, dude. Oh, very good. <laughs> Cowabunga, dude. Very good. Um, mm -hmm. All right. The year 2010, MPS, it's over to you. I guess I, best I do some research on it then, Bet and I. All right. <laughs> <laughs> 2010, I'm just going to make this up as I go along. No, I'm not. Uh, 2010, which was only 10 years ago, believe it or not. Um, how time flies when you're having a COVID intake. Um, the oh, toilet and yeah. make structure to date, the Burj Kef I hate these names. The Burj Kafa mm -hmm. Dubai uh, is officially opened. Uh, it doesn't actually say how tall it is, but it is the world's tallest back then. Uh, Ten years ago, the Winter Olympics are held in Vancouver and Whistler in Canada. Uh, the 2010 flash crash, a trillion-dollar stock market crash, occurred over 36 minutes, uh, initiated by a series of automated trading programs in a feedback loop. Scientists conducting the, Nath the Nathander Nathanderal I can't, I can't get words out. Right. Why don't you pick another year and make it easy for yourself? <laughs> Buffering <laughs> fuck cash. Science, scientists conducting the Anderthal Genome Project announced that they have sequenced enough of the, the enough of it <laughs> that the Anderthals and humans may have interbred. Well, we know people who may have uh, I, both. I know, I'm thinking of a Neanderthal right now, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Me, good speech, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in some um, positive good news Julia Gillard is elected unopposed in a Labour Party leadership ballot as sworn in as the first female Prime Minister of Australia following the resignation of Kevin Rudd <laughs> no, I can't even tell my bathroom but thanks um, the first 24 hour flight by a solar powered plane is completed by the solar impulse even your aeroplane uh, plane First test of Instagram posts made by co-developers Mike Kreger and Kevin Strom, Sistrom in San Francisco. The service launched publicly in October of that year. WikiLeaks, an online publisher of anonymous covert and classified material, leaks to the public over 90,000 internal reports about the US, uh, the United States led involvement in the war in Afghanistan from 2004 to 2010. How's this? How's this for history repeating itself? And there's a couple of things uh, that you might pick up, and this is particularly one of them. In August of 2010, the World Health Organization declares the, N, uh, the H1N1 influenza pandemic over, saying worldwide flu activity has returned to, to, uh, to typical seasonal patterns. Now, 10 years ago, no one gave a crap, did they? No one ever knew that this thing was a big deal. No masks, none of this, and I'm going to move on because otherwise I might lose a valve or something like that. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, let's pass. Let's keep going. Uh, International Space Station surpasses the record for the longest continuous human occupation of space, having been continuously inhabited since November 2 uh, in 2000, which is 3,641 days. Those guys are a bit light on their feet when they return to Earth. Um, researchers at CERN trap 38 anti-hydrogen atoms for a sixth of a second, making the first time in history that humans have trapped antimatter. Uh, 
WikiLeaks releases a collection of more than 250 American diplomatic cables, uh, including 100,000 marked secret or confidential. Hang on, did you mention WikiLeaks earlier? Yeah, but there was more apparently. He leaked we're a lot. In we're, we're, leak, we're leaking like a sieve. Can yeah. you imagine Julian Assange when he says, "I'm just going for, <laughs> just going out for a leak"? He completely, <laughs> completely misinterpreted as to what he's doing. What's his he's favorite vegetable? Leaks. <laughs> Uh, and that's it for the actual good news of that year. <laughs> yeah, he's cooking, he's cooking dinner. It's like, what are you cooking, Julian? I'm just cooking some leeks. Oh, shit, he's letting stuff out. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, we got past all the tongue-twisting stuff. Um, I don't know if Carol Tilly is still watching. I hope she is. Here's a bit of trivia for you, Carol. I don't know if you knew this. Now we're talking about going into space, right? Did you know, and no one else is going to give a rat's ass about what I'm about to say, there have been um, more people who have gone into space, more human beings that have gone into space than people who have won Formula One car races. So there you go. I thought I'd just chuck that in. Jeffro, over to you. Okay. So speaking of uh, Formula One um, car races, um, no, actually, no, it's a bike one. Sorry. Scrub that. <laughs> Start again. Um, British Motorbike Grand Prix uh, finally returned to Silverstone this year in uh, 2010, and uh, the winner was good old Mark Webber. So go team. Hang uh, on. This Mark Webber's a car driver, not a bike rider. I'm a Neanderthal. <laughs> <laughs> he, dropped, he, he was with the Red Bull team in a Formula One. You know? Freaking Wikipedia sort of someone who – this is a wiki leak. I mean, it, it really happened. I mean, fake news. Fake news, <laughs> you know, about um, what well, you know. This is this is real. This is WikiLeaks. Get on with it. Moving right <laughs> along, because I don't want to bone a bone of contention. Um, Cadbury was taken over by American rivals uh, Kraft Foods. Are you so, sure about uh, that? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just going to stop right here, aren't I? <laughs> Keep going. Okay, so um, this was also the year that the government, uh, the UK government, uh, planned to privatise mail, which is uh, <laughs> very interesting because, uh, you know, that seems to be the uh, the norm. No research. <laughs> well, I did. I just did it two weeks ago. So uh, <laughs> we can, who, who can know how history changes so radically? <laughs> Okay, so on royal news, the engagement of Prince William of Wales and Catherine Middleton is announced. So thankfully, they're still going strong. So, uh, yay, royals. Um, George Michael was uh, fined and jailed for two months after being found guilty of crashing his car and uh, taking cannabis. Check that up on WikiLeaks. <laughs> that one right. Uh, and uh, in terms of uh, movies uh, of this year, we saw Clash of the Titans, which is really shite, uh, The Chronicles of Nadia, uh, The Voyage of the Lord Treader, Edge of Darkness, that was really shite, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Hallows Part 1, because they really want your money and they cut it into two parts, uh, The King's Speech, that was really good, Nanny McPhee and the Big Bang, what sort of name is that? Mm -hmm. And Ridley Scott's Robin Hood, so I wish he hadn't have bothered. So that's the UK news on to... Yeah. I was going to say, so everybody out there, you picked us to go through 2010. Are you thinking <laughs> we should have just done something completely different? So there you go. And you got it right, Claire, yes, we broke MPS. So there you go. He's, he's, a, he's a busted dude. So there you go. There go. Really to, hang on. Be oh. nice to Jeff Rowe. He, he, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that one. Very, very cool. So there you go. Um and just a, a, an extra thing in regarding the whole Formula One thing. Uh, of course, Formula One has been around a lot longer than um, uh, space travel. So uh, you would have thought there would have been a lot more people winning car races, but not the case. So there you go. All right. So 2010. Oh, finally got around to something interesting. So um, there was a large number of animated films for some reason that came out in 2010. There's actually not a lot to talk about here. So you had Batman Under the Red Hood. Uh, Ultramarines, Warhammer 40K, and Justice League, just to name a few. For So for whatever reason, 2010 was a big year for uh, animated movies, so there you go. One of my favourites that came out in that year was absolutely fantastic in terms of sequels, Tron Legacy. Uh, absolutely awesome in 3D, and it was one of the rare occasions where 
it was both 2D and 3D all in the same film. So the idea was you put the 3D glasses on at the start of the movie, everything is per normal. Once you get in, and you forget you're even watching a 3D movie because uh, it's all 2D. You get into the digital uh, world and then it all just changed to 3D and it was spectacular. Absolutely loved it. So um, it was a very, very good sequel to the original movie, which a lot of people never really saw it or had forgotten about. So there you go. Um, Iron Man 2 came out uh, that year. Uh, I don't think it uh, held a candle to the, the first film. I thought the first one was much better. Uh, and if I recall, Iron Man 2 is actually set, there's a sequence set at the Monaco uh, car race, speaking of Formula One, funnily enough. So, um, with the dude running around smashing crap up. So, uh, yeah, so there you go. Still got the car racing theme going on there, which is kind of groovy. Um, Predators uh, came out. Now, of course, there's a, the, the Aliens and Predators, not Aliens and Predators, I mean, to Aliens, the franchise, and Predator, the franchise, they've all sort of been over the place over the past couple of decades. And, uh, and then they obviously joined them together. But um, I think Predators was the third film because you had Predator Requiem, and then you had Predators, and then there's another one after that as well. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know if it was much chop. I can't really remember Predators that much. Um, one film that did come out that it would absolutely make your brains leak out your ears if you could really get on top of it was Inception. Uh, outstanding visuals. And I've got to admit, I really enjoyed it, but I just could not get the story. It was just too hard. The dreams within the dreams within the dreams. Uh, just, I, just, I just couldn't get it. I tried and tried a couple of times, and I go, you know what, it's it's losing me here. Uh, but the whole sequence with the city folding in on itself, you know, when the whole thing curves up and everything, oh, outstanding, fan, fantastic visual, beautiful. But, uh, yeah, it was um, people. It was a huge critical success, but I just uh, yep, couldn't figure it out. Now, um, De if I'm not mistaken, Death Race 2 came out in 2010. Now, that's not Death Race 2000, which came out like 20,000 years prior to that. Um, so there was Death Race 2000. Then they produced Death Race 2, and after that, if you can believe this, they had Death Race, this is a different years, Death Race 2050, Death Race 3, and Death Race Beyond Anarchy. So what order are you supposed to watch all these things? And how freaking confusing is that? You know how we were discussing once upon a time about movies that just like completely, you just you just can't follow because they just keep mucking stuff up, like with the Terminator movies? How bad is that? So, uh, so yeah, Death Race 2. Uh, if you didn't know that, I'm sure William's probably got a copy of it on DVD. He seems to have a lot of this sort of stuff, which is very, very cool. Go on, William. Absolutely awesome. So there you go. Uh, so Claire loved Inception. She probably understood it way better uh, than I did. So there you go. Um, otherwise, that's all I had. So there you go. So uh, MPS, back to you. All right. There were a lot of films and there were a lot of animated films and TV series, which I'll go through in a second. Some of those are included in both of these lists, which I'll go through. So movies that we liked back then and that came out. Uh, Red, Retired, Extremely Dangerous. Um, it's a Trap, The Family Guy, Return of the Jedi, Take Off. Uh, the Last Airbender, the live action version of that, not the animated um, uh, manga versions. <laughs> Halo Legends. I've got, to stop, I've got to stop you for a second. So William does actually have the Death Race movies and he actually gave up after number four. Oh, William, where's the commitment, mate? Come on. You've got to take one for the nerdy team, mate. Don't buy one copy. Buy both copies. Oh, geez, you're letting us down, son. So there you go. MPS over to you, son. <laughs> uh, Halo, Halo Legends, which was based on the game Halo, the Reds versus Blue. Uh, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. The Social Network. Uh, the A-Team, the revival of that. Megamind, which was one of the animated films. Toy Story 3. Uh, Robin Hood. The Aussie version, as I call it, with Russell Crowe and Kate Blanchett, uh, Skyline, and and not the car, uh, Prince of Persia, the, and the Sorceress Apprentice, the Nick Cage version, and like Dag said, there was a stack of superhero cartoons as well. Uh, TV shows that finished that year were Dollhouse, Flash Forward, The Ghost Whisperer, Heroes, uh, Law and Order, Lost, and Scrubs, and shows that started that year uh, were Caprica. Young Justice, which is the Young Teen Titans animated series. Uh, the Steven Spielberg, um, Tom Hanks, The Pacific. Uh, Lost Girl. COVID Affairs, Adventure Time, which I can't watch because that does my head in. Uh, and Hawaii Five O. Now, sadly, in that year, we lost a lot of good names in, the, in terms of actors uh, in no particular order. Robert Culp from Greatest American Hero. Tony Curtis. Leslie Nielsen. Uh, Ivan Kirshner. Uh, Tom Bosley, who was the father in Happy Days, if you remember. Barbara Brillingsley, who was the mother in Leave it to Beaver. Uh, Rue McClanahan, who was Blanche in The Golden Girls. John Forsyth, Peter Graves, and Corey Haim. 
it, it, we actually had to discuss it. It's not uh, Irvin, Irwin. It's Irvin Kirshner, by the way. So there you go. You actually uh, made that mistake a couple of times. So there you go. Uh, well, really, there you go. As how it was, I just copied it. So someone oh, else yeah, has got yeah. it. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's Irvin, not Irwin, so there you go. Um, you Mate, mentioned about flash how I feel about uh, my um, hitchhiker's poster. So <laughs> <laughs> that's the difference. I made this mistake. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, flash Forward was a great series. I remember when it first came out, you know, everything sort of froze for a period of time and be, nobody could figure out what was going on, but it sort of just petered out as it went along. I, I never saw the whole thing. I'm not too sure how many people did. Like a lot of things on TV, they were put in at prime time at 7.30. Oh, my God, Flash Forward, the greatest thing ever. And within two weeks, they'd bump it off into like half past three in the morning and then they'd just get rid of it altogether. So I never know, never knew, really knew how it all finished up. So kind of an annoying thing about uh, free-to-air TV. Uh, regarding shows like that. And, of course, Caprica, a show I dearly, dearly love if you loved your Battlestar Galactica, which was a very, and, very cool. And the Pacific, which was shot here in Melbourne or in Victoria. So, yeah. And a few people we know worked on it, including myself. And I actually starred in it in an episode. Star. You didn't star in it. Stars are the guys who get credits. You were just some dead dude out in the bush somewhere. <laughs> I was some dead dude with, with face paint and makeup under a cover, believe it or not. <laughs> started it. I like that. He started it. Yeah, go back to your Neanderthal way of thinking. Started it. Yeah, right. Uh, so the next thing you'll be getting a holly, you're going to star on the Hollywood Walk of or Flinders Street Walk of Fame. Just you boys off in Pierce, nobody else. I uh, <laughs> love it very Hollywood, I'm going to take some chalk and I draw a star on there. <laughs> started it. There you that, go. That, that should allow you to get yourself an IMDb page. Oh, hang on. Uh, that reminds me. Too. Yeah, 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 I've got one and NPS has got one. Uh, there you go. William, you've let me down, son. Own Caprica. I haven't watched it yet. Well, get off our show and start watching next week, next two weeks. I expect you to tell me all about it. So there you go. Very good. Um, okay. So Claire, Firefly, um, Firefly, Flash Forward didn't actually have a proper ending. Oh, I'm surprised by that. Um, yeah, it's, that's very disappointing to hear. It was a very good concept, but uh, like a lot of, as we've discussed, a lot of gimmicky shows, they just don't last. They just peter out very, very, very quickly. Uh, and you mentioned Heroes, I think you said, came out that year. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, Heroes yeah. is a great example of a show that started off, you know, the X-Men without the costumes and the funky names, and uh, then it all just sort of died in the ass a couple of years later. Uh, Jeff, are you going to say something? Yeah, um, with um, a lot of series, they really have hopes of going into a second season, but um, they don't get picked up, so they can't really plan to have an ending. So th there's not too many shows that do get that that luxury. All right, so we're gonna. Even though we've still got 16 people still watching, it's a bit of a shame we're gonna cut this short. But uh, I think we're sort of just like running on fumes here at the moment. Um, so uh, we'll see you all either next week or the week after. Um, anything uh, you two from the from the two lads finish off with? 1949, rock on. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, I've, I've got all six facts ready to go. <laughs> Very good. All right. And as always, most importantly, make sure you stay nerdy. All right. We'll see you next time. Okay.